Yonkers Warmth for Life. Are you looking for the perfect solar solution to meet any and all convenience requirements? You need look no further. Our new flat plate collectors with fiberglass frames are light, sturdy and easy to mount. Let's have a look at just how easy they are to install. Please be sure to read the instructions and safety notes provided in your assembly manual. This film demonstrates assembly on a roof with rafters, bracing, sarking membrane and roofing tiles. For other roofing types, for example corrugated metal roofs and for regional roofing norms relevant to specific European countries, please refer to your assembly manual. A save all is used in this demonstration to allow unrestricted work. Local safety regulations for roofing work must be observed. Apart from the collectors, the entire unit consists of only a few parts which are easy to install. Roof hooks, DIN rails, skidding safeties, fittings and installation parts. First, the unit elements are unpacked and laid out. The only tool needed for standard assembly is an SW5 Allen wrench. We recommend you also use a hammer, measuring string, yardstick, spirit level and standard safety gear for roofing work. The first step towards professional assembly is measuring the roof. Allow half a meter to the left and right of the unit's base area to accommodate the connector fittings. Two rows of tiles above the unit have to remain free. In this example, the tiles can simply be pushed up to allow safe footing. If this is not possible in your case, it's advisable to remove them. The next step is deciding on the anchoring points for your roof hooks. The intervals can be handled with flexibility, depending mainly on the rough trough valleys. Please adhere to the target specifications listed in assembly manual tables. Once you have shifted or removed the tiles, please make sure that the roof is in good enough condition to allow the collectors to be mounted. The laths used for mounting must be in proper condition. If in doubt, you should consult a professional carpenter. Next, all parts are prepared, starting with the roof hooks. All you need to do is loosen the nut and turn the lower segment around. Moving on to the DIN rails, they are joined using the plug connections and screwed together tight. Now you can fix the skidding safeties. Later on, they will keep the collectors in place on the roof allowing you to work comfortably using both hands. Finally, fit the one-sided collector clamps to the right-hand edges of the DIN rails. With everything properly prepared, you can get going. You'll see, you'll be done in no time. For starters, the roof hooks are hung on a roof lath. Slide the lower segment upwards until it touches the lath. Now fasten the nut. While tightening the nut, Make sure the serrated washer is properly positioned. And that's it. No more mounting required. By the way, anchoring the hooks to rafters is just as easy. Simply turn the lower segment the other way. Place the hook in a trough valley, position it and fasten it to the rafter using three screws. Done. We recommend you mark the positions on the tiles where you want to place your hooks and then notch them using a hammer or an angle grinder. Once all the roof hooks are up, replace the roofing tiles. Now all the tiles fit neatly and the roof is weatherproof once again. Next, attach the DIN rails to the roofing hooks. Don't tighten the screws on the upper and lower rails yet so you can still align them later. Take care that the rails are parallel and all the angles are right angles. With everything properly aligned, the rails can be fastened tight. 
Please check the rails for possible sagging. You may use your measuring string. Pad them if necessary. And that's it. No cross rails required. Now you can mount the collectors. They're easy to handle. You can simply put them down on their edges. That's what they were designed for. You'll find all the connection parts laid out between the collectors inside the protective casings. The opening for the collector feeler needs to be face up. Now you can determine the connection positions. In this example, we'll demonstrate installing with the run back in the lower right hand corner and the flow in the upper left hand corner. Use a ceiling cap to close off the connection at the collector's upper right hand corner. Simply stick on the cap and secure it with a peg. Place a corrugated pipe connector in each corner of the left hand edge. Again, secure each of them with a peg. Now carry the collector up onto the roof. Place it on the DIN rail and allow it to slide gently into the skidding safety. The collector can only bear load once it is secured with all collector clamps. Carefully slide the collector onto the collector clamp and screw it on tight. If done correctly, the plastic screw guide will break away. Place the double-sided collector clamp into the DIN rail and slide it upwards until it touches the collector, but do not tighten it yet. Now carry the left collector up onto the roof, place it on the DIN rail and allow it to slide back into the skidding safety. Slide the collector to the right until it touches the collector clamp and connect the corrugated pipe connectors you prepared earlier with the left collector. Please secure the connections with pegs right away and fix the collector with the collector clamp. Insulate the connections with an ultraviolet resistant thermal insulation. Finally, the one-sided collector clamps are mounted on the left edge. Slide them down the DIN rail until they snap into the first slotted hole. The one-sided collector clamp is pushed onto the collector and then screwed down. The collectors are now firmly installed and the assembly is complete. All that's left now is connecting the unit. Remove a single roof tile next to the upper left-hand corner of the collector array. Make a trapezoid cut into the sarking membrane and replace the normal tile with a ventilation tile. Repeat the same procedure for the lower right-hand corner. Connect the pipes to the flow in the upper left-hand corner and to the runback in the lower right-hand corner, securing each of them with pegs. Finally, the feeler has to be installed. Simply insert it into the feeler opening on the leftmost collector. Slide it in for 25 centimeters until it hits the catch. When you're done, please double check all pipe connections and fasteners just to be on the safe side. Once the house connections are completed, you should carry out a pressure test before removing the scaffolding. That's all the roof work required. The unit can now be connected inside the house. As you can see, Assembly is done in virtually no time and our lightweight collectors make it all the easier for you. Junkers. Warmth for life.